Hello, I am Tatiana Markovic Topalovic. I am a physics teacher. I was double stressed today <laughs> because of electricity. Uh, we are back to 19th century, I think. And uh, I hate Nikola Tesla. I hated Nikola Tesla about 20 minutes today. So now we have electricity. And I hope so that it would be interesting lecture for you. It is something new. And uh, I prepared if electricity stopped. My husband said to me, you're a silly woman. But I have always plan C if I... Yeah, no, plan C. I have a plan B, my laptop, and my flash. And after plan B, I have a plan C. What? It, and he said to me, this is, you will be in capital Belgrade, in the best hotel, and it wouldn't. It can't happen. So it happened. Uh, what is advice to have a plan C? Let's start. Uh, I think that we need to, uh, to answer some questions. First question, uh, my reading is better than my speaking, so just you follow that text. Are Millennium children's thinkers or users in today in 21st century? How and should we make a balance between a digital and analogical, modern and traditional? How has the position of teacher and student changed in the course of history? What is learning environment for us and for studying science subjects? And uh, what is the role, impact, mission of Shabbat's Park as a model in developing learning environment? After that, we will talk about perspectives. And I will think that I, think that I will change place. This is a better place for me. Uh, I forgot to read you something. That was the first. But I said I was double stressed, so you will forgive me. The first, I had to, to uh, read something, what I wrote when I started to, to make this uh, lecture. And it would be like this. Dear colleagues, organizers, friends of education today, I have rare and special honor and privilege to talk to you and introduce you methods I use in studying science. Before we start, I often happen to think of unique sense of humor of Stephen Hawking when he was placed simulator of voice after lung geometry. He was forced to type his sentences, which were converted into the sound. His computer voice simulator would start a lecture with a sentence. I hope you like the tone of my voice. I don't intend to compare to Hawking, but I'm going to say this sentence. I hope you find my English appealing, or at least you will understand it. I believe that uh, the worst uh, exile is exile from language. Now, when we have done with introduction, I want to give a go to core of education in Serbia. So, fasten your belts, we are going to take off. Um, first question was, uh, uh, are Millennium children thinkers or users? I believe the bottom line is moving towards the users. Our children are slowly but certainly tending to stop thinking. Uh, what is important for today? For them, it is important to download, to view, to use application, and not to engage knowledge, thinking, and study as the scientists do in the process of research. The whole world is at war with the issue. There are some of us who are willing to win the battle or to synchronize with it. I always say uh, one sentence from Cartoon Network, El Cartoon, if you can't beat them, then join them. Second question, how and should we make a balance between a digital and an analogical uh, knowledge? Yes, I think that we have to make a balance, but that balance uh, must be dynamic. I will give you my presentation, you can use it, just you don't need to photo it. Today in the 21st century, introducing IT without basic skills and knowledge and, net no, and not knowing history and philosophy of science is watering ruthlessly. Uh, we should keep in mind that IT is backup for science subjects and they are necessary tools for making easier. First, the speed of learning. Second, the selection of necessary and quality information. Then we need to make a transfer to information 
then fast evaluation of data, and of course we need to synchronize uh, students' and teachers' time, because we live in different times. The third question was, how has the position teacher student changed in the course of history? Modern school uh, has not dramatically changed since Mesopotamia. Students still sat, sit at the desk and write down what teacher says. Uh, first calls were opened in Egypt and in ancient Greek uh, because Pharaoh Menhutop had uh, more than 4,000 years ago uh, was rich and he was forced to engage a number of notaries to list fortune of temple. In that time, in Mesopotamia and the ancient Greek, only 1% of whole population had privilege to get education. Schools uh, were part of sacred places. We only have in ancient Greek Plato Academy, uh, and there were a few free-minded schools where the students would learn through discussion while walking. Schools today haven't changed significantly. Today, instead of sitting on the rug, as ancient in Egypt, Egypt or uh, ancient Greek, the students sit at the desk instead of writing or board or paper or papyrus. They can type on tablets, but the concept of acquiring knowledge hasn't differed much. A uh, fourth question was, what is learning environment for studying science subjects? During the last decades, many scientists uh, uh, have stressed the need of teaching physics and the other science in, uh, uh, in broader place than common classrooms and laboratories. Teachers need a hall, a schoolyard, a roof, a facade, a terrace to install devices and the elements for demonstrating and studying science phenomena. Uh, well, because of that, we made a science park in Shabatz. Shabatz is a little town near the Belgrade, about 80 kilometers. I'm inviting you to come and to see that uh, model of teaching uh, science. And uh, we made the uh, Shabbat Science Park as an example of space where the expert team suggested conceptualized installation with the base of educational visualization. Uh, this presentation, presentation provides true explanation on educational visualization of scientific phenomena outside in a science park and school yard. How did we start? I will, uh, uh, we will uh, put one uh, little movie and we will uh, show it just to see a three-dimensional uh, science park in Shabbat. But we start, uh, spiritus moments of our learning environment uh, were three professors. They are from uh, University of Physics, Mirjana popovic Božić, her late husband, and uh, Professor Ilya Savic. Uh, in that time, he was uh, president of Physical Society. We applied for some money in a local city authority. The first installation uh, was uh, DING, day, night, and year on the globe. It is a parallel globe. Then we reparated. And one year later, uh, due to kindness and understanding of agency for cooperation, the development in Swiss embassy, we had a park with 27 installations. Uh, will you help me? But I think that I know where is it. I have to put down. Now you will see one uh, short movie. It was for one contest, but you will see now that science park in our town. It lasts about two History and a half minutes. Balkans. She had limited resources and had to rely on the help of her family, friends, and craftsmen with no experience in building three-dimensional educational installations. Tatiana's teaching is always student-centered and inquiry-based. She believes that the best way for teenagers who worship digital technology is to study science outdoors, experiencing the same process of discovery as real scientists. U svom radu ne oslanjam se na obavezne didaktičke resurse, već se trudim da pravim iskorake. Jedan od najvećih iskoraka koji sam napravila jeste artikulacija i formiranje parka nauke u Šapcu, zapravo velike laboratorije na otvorenom. Today Park has 27 installations and presents a unique place where transdisciplinary teaching thrives as her colleagues, the teachers of physics, biology, geography, chemistry, and mathematics, facilitate their classes and work together. Over 10,000 students from different parts of Serbia have visited the science park, and about 500 classes have been held so far. 
The idea of teaching science using 3D models was well adopted in some other Serbian cities. When other schools in Serbia want to create their own science park, they consult Tajana. Njena predavanja su inspirativna, posticajna za njene učenike, ali i stručno i metodički veoma dobro uobličena. Veoma sam zadovoljna što se u trci za ovako prestižno priznanje našao i jedan fizičar, a naročito ponosna što je to moja bliska saradnica i doktorant Tatjana. Tatjana prepared an interesting historical research for her students. There is Maleva Marik Einstein Street, named after the famous mathematician and Albert's first wife who was also a student at Sabak High School. The educational fountain, which is one of its kind in the world where students can visualize quadratic equation. An open-air globe, which helps students to learn about the change of day and night, as well as the science of the seasons. It determines the local meridian, as its movement is synchronized with the movements of the Earth. Next, we find Newton's pendulum, the brachystochrone, the solar clock, where a child can act as a hand of the clock. The replica of the Greenwich Meridian. The model of sodium chloride. Atoms. The golden ratio. The pyramid model. The liquid Pythagoras theorem. And Sigmund Freud Street optical illusions. Tajana students enjoy these outdoor classes and are happy to guide the visiting students who come to the science park in Sabak. <laughs> That was three-dimensional, yes, science park. I will lead you through every installation, and I will show, and I will show you where the position in national curriculum every on of it. Uh, our original idea uh, was to uh, uh, be in one thousand school, just to make uh, schoolyards and the redesign it uh, for a learning environment. But it was a very great and a big step for us because it was 1,000 schools. We uh, didn't have enough money. We didn't have financial budget. We didn't have uh, political and social support. So we decided to design a science park as a model in our town, as a model and the source of all scientific activities which induce critical minds of students. Uh, now we will see how it started. Uh, that is how we started almost ten, ten years ago. All uh, craftsmen uh, made only one in their uh, entire life, uh, one globe. A manually bent wire construction, the first, was finished. Uh, this was the crew who has a fate gathered in 2010. First layer of concrete, the axis is positioned at uh, 45 degrees due to parallel position of tangent plane because axis of earth and axis of globe are parallel. Uh, Shabbat is on uh, 45 uh, latitude, so this, also, uh, this axis is positioned at 45, not 63.5, as in Greenwich. Um, second layer or third layer of concrete. It wasn't a piece of cave for many architectures and construction workers. Then fourth layer of concrete with the axis angled at 45. Then we have to uh, transfer gilded office scheme of all the world and the uh, Shabbat is on the top. Finally, we have a right shaped globe of seven layer concrete and we are starting our life in Science Park. First and all this piece of, uh, piece of park, uh, day, night and year on the globe, ding, and on my initiative, a uh, circle part around the world was put. We have a problem with that globe, and it was ruined uh, one um, half month uh, before, so we repaired it. Today I, can't, I can be proud because uh, uh, my students, my ex-students, uh, were great and they helped me and today they are great scientists. One of them is uh, Olympic contestant, Zlatko. The other one is programmer, Pet Peter. And we have uh, two pharmacies. They finished their faculties and they are great in science. 
uh, this plate, which was installed near the globe, the east plate is on Cyrillic, and we have, of course, a west, uh, west uh, plate. It is on uh, English, and it is on Latin. Uh, where is the practical uh, application in teaching in uh, our national curricula? In preschool age, and one very interesting uh, subject uh, in uh, junior classes of primary school, the world around us, then in geography, five class, in math as a proportion, in physics, in history of philosophy and physics. And we have some Israel exp experience that we can measure uh, insulation and the heat distribution on the globe, and now we measure that. The second installation is uh, Torricelli's Fontaine. It, uh, it is a very interesting Fontaine, and we published one work about it. Professor Mirjana Božić and me keeping the constant level of fluid in tube, and it is very hard for many architectures and the builders to, um, to keep the constant level of fluid in one tube. Uh, other jet intersected at the one point, technical and scientific adjustment, you will see why it is important for us in math and in physics. And we need a whole expert team is helping with solving problems of side jets in educational Fontaine. It is the unique, it is the only one Fontaine in, on the world. Now we had it, one year later, we have uh, first installation was in one year, the second installation was in second year. And then uh, we had the followers and we have 25 installation for two years. Uh, the educational Fontaine was installed on uh, 26 April it, it was the second piece of our park. Uh, you can see here the first and third jet accurately intersect at one point, and it is the most important because uh, that parabolas are uh, roots of uh, a square equation. The application in teaching is in the lectures on physics, the first and second class, uh, then when they learn about Bernoulli's equation and the horizontal shoot, and uh, uh, it is very interesting for children and for teacher, for gifted children, of course, to analyze the results of a square equation because they have uh, one uh, point where the all jets uh, can intersect. Here is the science park map. Then uh, here we had about 12 uh, installations. After that, we will have uh, 27, I think. These are uh, support. Uh, the main investors and the support were Swiss Ag Agency for Development and Cooperation, then Center for Comp Competence Improvement in Serbia, then Center for Promotion of Science, and of course, local authority. They recognize, they recognize our work and they help us. What is interesting about streets in Science Park? As in CERN in Swiss, all streets are named after scientists, but in CERN they're only named after science, after scientists. In our Science Park, uh, they're named after scientists whose science marks that street. So in Newton Street, classical mechanics happen. Now we are in the street of Isaac Newton. You saw that on our movie. And uh, we are checking a Newton cradle or Newton's pendulum the day before opening. Every help is welcomed. I include all part of my family, my husband and the ex-manager of Center for Continual Improvement, uh, trying to uh, make it better. Uh, what is support uh, to teaching Newton's pendulum in physics and math? Uh, you can learn about Newton's pendulum physics in seventh class, then in physics in the first year of high school, and in classical mechanics street, there will be venue for research of history, philosophy, and science, and physics. We have a second installation in that street. It is a Brahistochron. It is a very uh, interesting historical installation. Um, it is a replica of graduation work of Matt, gymnasium student Vukadin Zindovic. Now he is an electric engineer, but it was his uh, graduation work, and we are very happy because he chose our uh, installation to make it in real time and the space. Where is application in teaching in national curriculum in math, in physics, in history? Uh, there is one very interesting um, uh, correspondence between Galileo and uh, Daniel Bernoulli. 
And this uh, installation opening the door of curiosity to children uh, who want to know more. You can work with the gifted children on this installation. Now we are in uh, Miluti Milankovic Boulevard. He was one of our, one of the most famous uh, scientists in our country. The street of classic mechanics, see Isaac Newton, is intersecting with the street of sky mechanic. Um, we in Serbia know uh, that he was dealing with a very precise calendar and on the one side of the street we have sundial designed by Professor Dr. Milutin Tadic and of course it has application in curricula, in physics, seventh class, in primary and third class of secondary, then in history, sundials, in math, and in mathematical geography for extra work. And in math, it is a very interesting part when you are trying to calculate uh, Sundale's scale from trigonometry. That is very interesting for gifted children or advanced uh, curricula. Now we are in Tzvich Lane. Jovan Tzvich was a student in Shabbat, of Shabbat High School. He is also the very famous uh, geographic and the scientist in Serbia. And uh, that was important for us. Uh, this is important for historical heritage and cherishing of tradition. Uh, of course, we bought a meteorological station, but we think that it was very worth because uh, all, all physics uh, parameters uh, children uh, learn in uh, primary school at sixth grade. So they could uh, measure it and they then uh, could uh, uh, see that on touch screen. You can see in touch screen uh, they have in and out temperature, humidity. They can see uh, direction of the wind, uh, tendency of weather forecast, uh, pressure in and out, and the uh, precise time. Of course, application is in geography, in computing and domestic technology, in physics, sixth class in primary school, and a little treat, history of meteorology in Shabbat. Shabbat uh, was the first town where the first meteorological station was placed in 1847. That is, of course, very interesting for our heritage. Uh, the second installation in Jovan Svich Lane is solar panel. Uh, all children like to charge their mobile uh, in, under the solar box because they have a chance for that. Uh, application is teaching in, in uh, that very interesting subject, world around us. I think that we can do that uh, big things in that, uh, in that subject. In that subject, um, uh, it is in uh, junior classes, uh, in junior uh, classes in uh, primary school. Uh, then in domestic technology and computing, renewables are source of energy. And in physics, uh, second and the fourth class of secondary school, when we are talking about P and N conjunctions. Now we are in Whispering Street. Whispering Street is interesting because it is the only one street which isn't named by any uh, scientist. Uh, uh, we have a very interesting uh, short story about history of First World War in England and the beginning of the 20th century. But um, uh, when Rudder's uh, uh, approach, when they uh, started to, to use uh, uh, the Englishmen, English uh, didn't uh, made any, didn't build any parabolic acoustic mirror for concrete. Uh, parabolic mirrors, uh, application in teaching is in physics, eighth class, in geometric optics, in math, second class, and I said that uh, we had uh, one part of very interesting England history about these acoustic parabolic mirrors. Um, uh, what is interesting for me, uh, many galleries of physics departments in Spain are whispering galleries, so you can uh, research that, but uh, Spain has uh, I don't know how many whispering galleries in physics departments. Now we are in Chemistry Street, in Mendeleev Street. Of course you will see sodium chloride or cooking salt. It is one of the most popular crystal, I think, and it is easy for, for handmade. And uh, my student says, always said that the best selfie in Science Park is in this crystal. You can see here a look through common salt crystal, a stolen moment of science pleasure. This is my ex student, Natasha. She finished uh, University of Medicine, I think, yes. 
cooking salt uh, application in uh, in uh, curricula is in chemistry, seventh class, in physics, second and fourth class of secondary school, biology. And uh, we have one interesting history reminder because I call this part of science park west part. We have an east part of science park. And what is interesting, the salary at the end of uh, 18th century was paid in salt in England. And it's, it is origin of term salt salary. Now we are in street of Charles Darwin. We have two anniversary that uh, that year, so it, I think it was the 60th anniversary of uh, uh, discovering DNA, and the second anniversary was uh, 100 of first uh, model of atom, and we used that for Science Park and uh, for our uh, budget. Uh, we have uh, two models of DNA. The first is beautiful, and you know it, and the second one is very interesting because we made it with one student, and we can apply it, of course, in curricula, in biology, seventh class, third class. Then uh, we can uh, talk about the stru structure of a DNA chain. And it is an active model, so that model encourages students to respect the principle of complementary. I can explain that later on the lunch to one biology, <laughs> Eva, <laughs> yes. Uh, now we are uh, in Miluti, Miluti Milankovic Boulevard, but the other side we have an ideal, ideal replica of Greenwich Meridian. Um, it can, ha it has the application, its application is in geography, seventh class, and the history, the need of introduction of universal time. And we thought that that was enough and that we have uh, so many budget and we don't have any other money and support and then um, we have some new followers. One of the best was the Swiss Agency for Cooperation and Development and uh, one year later and four years after first installation we are having 12 new installations set and we are becoming the nucleus for emission creati creative ideas to other towns in Serbia. Um, in these towns, uh, uh, science parks are opened a few years ago, and uh, most, I think most famous is in Kragujevac and in Čačak, but we have today five science parks in Serbia, but I think that ours is best, because it was the first, and we made it for free, we didn't have any money, any, um, uh, we, we did it with the passion, and we did it with our open heart, and all professors and all uh, people from university decided to work for free because they want to follow one idea and one man, I hope so. This is uh, the model of Atom. We call it uh, active model. Uh, we had a 100th anniversary, so we decided to uh, make two model of Atom. Global model of Atom, which is studied in seventh and eighth class of primary school, and in chemistry and in physics in the fourth class of secondary school. Uh, you can see here opening of other part of the park. The guests are coming and you can see the children and this child, they're very, very uh, interesting in that, what are we doing? And they are trying to make a model. You can make a model from pearls, from uh, hydrogen to oxygen. And uh, peer learning and peer cooperation is the main characteristic of Shabbat Science Park. Second version of global model of atom, of course, you know that it, this proportion isn't real. This is a passive model. Global model of atom in another shape after Thomson's model of plum padding and after Rutherford's experiments. Um, I always said to, to children and to my pupils that this proportion isn't real, but you have these pictures in all uh, chemistry textbooks and uh, physics textbooks. They have to know that. Uh, you speak something about Pythagoras theorem, Maria. I think that you spoke something about Pythagoras theorem. Yes, this is a very famous installation. You can make it in your schoolyard. 
It is used in the seventh class uh, in maths and in many sections of physics. Uh, of course, when we have a right angle between the two forces, uh, you can make it uh, from uh, sand or gravel. Uh, we don't like water because we have to uh, close our science park uh, in uh, winter uh, and uh, we can open it uh, in, in early spring, but it can't work for three or five uh, months because we have some installation with uh, glass and some installation with the water. Uh, you can see here Nadja. Nadja is a student of University of Medicine. She was a great in science. And she's rotating tri triangle and explaining to our chemistry teacher how we can prove the ancient Greek theorem. The same installation can be made with sand or gravel, I said, I said that. Uh, this uh, part of very interesting physics, uh, uh, that is the way how we can show the moment of inertia and the law of angular moment and law of preservation of impulse momentum. A rotation in hand produces rotation of whole body. The moment of inertia and the moment of impulse is studied in the first class of secondary school. Uh, this is the plane where a student is standing. Here you can see her, but you can't see uh, her plane. The plane uh, where a student is standing, and we can use it, and we are using it for explanation of radius angle. Uh, this is uh, the moment of inertia of material, material point. Now we are just a little in math. Uh, golden ratio, the result of Fibonacci's order. You can see on this uh, photo uh, golden spiral. Uh, golden ratio is a code of people's existence, biology blossoming, growing, etc. Uh, think about your credit cards. I don't know if you know that when you divide uh, horizontal and the vertical uh, length of your credit card, you will get uh, golden ratio. Of course, you will get uh, 1.638, and that is a number of golden ratio. That is interesting, and that is uh, for all world. All credit cards are made like that. Uh, now we are at the end of uh, west part of Science Park. This is a Shabbat Skiops pyramid. Stereometry is studied in maths, seventh class primary school, and in high school, th school three, uh, third class, and uh, philosophy on ancient Greece. How to determine, determine height of pyramid using a stick and the sand? That was a question for Thales. By measuring shadow, we get the length of stick, and Thales answered to that question uh, 585 before Christ. Um, Shabbat is a little town, it is my uh, town, and it is in valley. So the uh, highest point in Shabbat is only 69 meters, and this is the highest point in Shabbat. The telescope is on the pyramid and the little viewpoint, and the science park is on the hill. So this is the highest point. The students can see height and the potemus of that mathematical model on Pythagoras square. And the last one of the west part of science is uh, uh, Sigmund Freud Street, optical illusions rain. We have uh, so many optical illusions, but these boards are double-sided. On one board we have uh, two installations, so I don't know, do you feel some optical illusions when you are sewing, so, uh, when you s see at it, but they works. Can you see it? They works. Children like to analyze that connection between eyes and the brain. They like to, to research about optical illusions. It isn't part of uh, uh, curriculum, but it is a part of philosophy and psychology. Now we are in the uh, east uh, part of Science Park, chess game in Russian LA of Gary Kasparov. Chess is becoming more popular optional subject in junior classes in primary school in our country. In the first part of film, I adore Harry Potter. I admit, the stone of wisdom, a wisdom the children are excitedly watching chess game with the live figures. Our Serbian writer, one of the most popular, Milorad Pavic, wrote the same story 40 years ago. 
uh, with the same headline. Uh, chess combination is one of the main traits for mathematical and computer programming, and the chess is inspiring. Children like to play chess. Uh, I see uh, this periodical system, and I like it. I watched on this, and I saw the many interesting new. Did you uh, watch this periodical system on a, this poster? Yes. Well, uh, this is interesting and inspiring, and this one is precise. Um, we made the periodical system. Uh, this articulation of chemical elements of Mr. Mendeley. Uh, we put the new categorization of elements, and it was done in 18 groups. Each plate was handed by my art school students. So each plate is handmade, and every student in art school uh, draw it, and we uh, then glue it on a facet of a building. It is unique because of that. At Science Park opening chess game between high school and medical high school in Shabbats, the pleasure was mutual. And the uh, last one, uh, last one installation is the graph and classroom. I think that is the art of resting and uh, learning. Uh, I was the author, author of this graph and classroom. Uh, I read somewhere that last year, uh, 10,000 science works were written on the subject of graphene. Uh, what is uh, interesting for our country, Nobel Prize winner for graphene, Alexander Novoselov, uh, was connected. He was part of one big project in Serbia, and he uh, was particip participant in one interesting project of Institute of Physics. So Serbia has one, uh, one man who won Nobel Prize and who made some project with our Serbian scientist. Uh, get to know its characteristic because it is a material of the future. Uh, we have two serious science work in international reviewed collection of works. Both of them are published in Journal of Physics. One is about Richelis Fontaine. I'm one of authors. I, I'm a co-author. And the second one is uh, about Ding, Day, Night, and Year Globe. And we are very proud of that. Evaluation is always a problem. We have some two measuring of uh, knowledge of children. Um, and we have uh, some, uh, some results of that. We are working on that, but we made uh, progress because we see difference between their knowledge when they use installation to work and to learn, and uh, when they don't use it, and when they use only two-dimensional textbooks. This is a three-dimensional textbook. And uh, I will overview a little album, album of happenings. Uh, I, I just want you today to understand that we leave uh, that science park in our town, and we are, pu uh, we are, we are full of passion for it. And uh, all uh, our society live for it, and uh, they are taking care of it. First, children, all my students like to be a guides. This is the internet. This is some excursion from Chachak or something like that, and my students started to be a guides. The trip around the globe starts. That is the first installation. Then Milan and Vera. They like to be uh, near the Newton's pendulum, and it works. Sometimes it is very hard because it is very big. If you have a very big installation, it can, it can lose uh, their precision. Precision. It, it isn't so precise when it is very big. Uh, then Nemanja, he's explaining uh, to friends from Chachak how Abra Histochron works. Then the crowd at, re, at uh, renewable sources of energy, they are queuing to charge their mobile phones. This is one sunny Saturday. Even on Saturday, uh, they are waiting to explain science. They are very, the children are very uh, inspiring in that park. A group, all of us, all of us who are science park lovers from Facebook, they are volunteer guides through the park. Then we have some visitors from other part of ex Yugoslav. This is a puppet show from Bielina. They are small, but they like. They are, they are little, but they, uh, they like science. Bosnia and Herzegovina cooperates with Serbia. So look at these, uh, these smiley faces. 
more from the puppet show crew, yeah. Uh, behind them is a projection screen inserted in periodical system of elements where they watch popular science show and series like Cosmos or Universe. Uh, then I have uh, uh, visitors like Marinko and Borko, they are the best educator of Serbia. Marinko Petković uh, works with uh, disabled children. Uh, and uh, Borko Petrovic is uh, one of the best educators, and he will represent uh, this year Serbia on Global Teacher Prize. They come with their students in Science Park. Then I was a manager of Center for Continual Improvement only one year because I don't, uh, I'm not so good with politics in Serbia. So for that year, I was a uh, Princip uh, manager between 2060 and 2070, I started to adapt the park to the disabled people and the people with special needs. And I'm so happy because we made that uh, path for them on sunny March in 2007. Then I led uh, for 10 years uh, summer school of science in my town. And uh, I made a diploma day in uh, science of park. Then we cooperate with uh, many uh, public institution, institution, library likes not us, so uh, library children always come at the Science Day in Serbia. It is the 10th July, and it is the uh, birthday of Nikola Tesla. And we have uh, weddings in science parks because my ex-students adore science park, and you will see now Ivana and Nemanja, uh, she is a physicist, chemist, and he is a programmer, and they decided to make a wedding in our science park. And uh, they asked me to put this sentence. It is very important for them. Now they have a daughter, little daughter, two years. Uh, she is a two year old. In the game of chess, as in life, mistakes are noticed when someone else has benefited from them. In front of the model atom, then this year is 105th anniversary of periodic system elements. Keep in mind the similar age as Staropramen beer also. Uh, fifth anniversary of a man's landing of the moon and the fifth years of Woodstock. This is very important year and uh, I'm 50 years old in this year. So important years. Science Park advertised at the Belgrade Tourism Fair in February 2019, and we are not anonymous. Perspectives. Uh, we had, a, I think, a reasonable influence in our country. We uh, opened five science parks in Serbia. Uh, we need to evaluate uh, knowledge of students. That is maybe the most important thing. Then I think the m very important thing is my role in assessing jury for installation and making the catalog of them, supported by Center for Science and Promotion. Then we are trying to create new learning environments in schoolyards. We are trying to make some seminar of systematical training of teacher for carrying out uh, lessons in Science Park or to make uh, master classes. Then we need uh, to cooperate by institutes and universities, universities because we need a scientific monitoring of science parks. Uh, we are trying to adapt parks to children with special needs. And the one of the maybe most interesting thing, uh, we are trying to develop a new branch in um, tourism. It is educational tourism. And I think that would be all, but I have one important sentence, sentence for you. There are no unconquered forces, just bad conquerors. Thank you for your attention. And if you have some uh, question, I could answer, or we can go on lunch. And on lunch, just Yelena will say. I hope so, that I was interesting. Yes, I practice my 45 minutes.